Well, I hope you're going to have a fantastic weekend. Weather-wise, we're looking at some decent conditions today. Maybe not as nice tomorrow, and then things are getting a little bit more uh, unsettling, so to speak, as we head towards Monday and Tuesday. Here's a check of the spaghetti plots affiliated with Jose, and notice how the core of it should stay offshore, but again, just directly offshore of our area Monday into the Tuesday time frame, but close enough that we could still get some impacts from, let's say, some of his outer rain bands, meaning some wet weather, maybe even some stronger winds, and then eventually moving towards the north and then north and east as we head towards the end of the week. So the northeastern part of the U.S. could see more impacts than we could see. But as far as the winds, this is looking at the wind probability or the chances that we could have 39 mile per hour winds or higher, primarily tropical storm force winds. And our area has roughly about a 30% chance of experiencing that, especially as you get closer towards the outer banks. So that means that, again, the winds could gust up to tropical storm force that may create some power outages. Maybe some of the weaker tree limbs or the branches could kind of come off a little bit. You want to make sure that you have uh, non loose items in your yard. So you want to secure those or bring them inside because the winds are definitely going to pick up. But thankfully, we're not expecting anything too terribly strong in terms of Jose. Now, if it shifts a little bit further west, things could change. So stay tuned. We'll keep you posted. As far as what else is out there, as of this morning, we had tropical depression number 14, which was likely to become a tropical storm. And if it gets a name, it'll be called Lee soon. And then we also have Invest 96L, which also is likely to develop. And this one is one to watch because this one, the spaghetti plots or the forecast models do take it closer to the U.S. And some of the models do want to develop this one, the Invest, the one that is not necessarily a tropical cyclone yet, at least as of this morning. The one out there further west or further east should stay out to sea. Nonetheless, it's active out there. It's hurricane season, so you want to make sure that you stay up to date. A lot going on weather-wise. Locally, though, we could have a spotty shower throughout the day. Otherwise, a great day to make your way out to the air show tomorrow. As I mentioned, not as nice as today. We're going to have cloudier skies, um, better chance for a few showers as well, and it's going to be a little bit breezier. And then we're expecting some of the outer rain bands affiliated with Jose to impact us as we head into our Monday and possibly even into our Tuesday. Specifically, though, for the air show, if you're heading out there, the weather looks pretty good. Temperatures top out into the low 80s and again we're looking at just the spotty variety for rain but if you're heading to the beach over at the Virginia beaches we're looking at a moderate risk for rip current so expect the yellow flags to fly but over towards the outer banks those beaches expect the red flags to fly we're expecting red flags all over as we head into tomorrow and Monday here's a seven-day outlook have a great day